Oxygen XML team is very proud to announce the release of the latest and greatest major version of the Oxygen XML suite of products. Here are some highlights of the most interesting and important new features implemented in Oxygen XML Editor 25. As usual, lots of features were added for DITA authoring and publishing. For example, Local DITA maps that are modified in the DITA Maps Manager are now automatically saved whenever a modification is made. However, this default behavior can be disabled by going to the DITA Maps Preferences page and deselecting the Automatically Save Local DITA Maps After Each Modification option. Various features were implemented to enable some non-DITA file types to be converted and treated as DITA-compatible resources when referencing, validating, or publishing content. For example, you can insert references to certain non-DITA resources such as Word, Excel, HTML, Markdown, OpenAPI, and more, and they are converted to DITA in the background and the Reference Insertion dialog box allows you to select targets the same as with a normal DITA reference. Another example is if you have a DITA compatible document referenced in your DITA map, you can run a DITA map completeness check and the non-DITA file is converted to DITA in the background and validated the same as a DITA topic. Similarly, if you have an OpenAPI document, for example, referenced in the DITA map, and then you run a transformation scenario for the map. The OpenAPI document is converted to DITA in the background, and in the output, it is published as a converted DITA topic. A new Generate Metrics Report action was added to the DITA Maps Manager's toolbar to quickly generate a report that contains useful statistics for the current DITA map. Special support was added for DITA questions and answers. A new Insert Intent Question action can be used to insert a DITA intent question inside the prologue. It's a question that could be asked by a user and its answer is found in the current topic. You also now have the possibility of using the new file wizard to create a new question and answers DITA topic type that is used during the publishing process for creating Google structured content metadata. When working with DITA OT project files in author mode, each deliverable now has a play button that can be used to publish each deliverable individually. There's also a play button at the top of the DITA OT project file to publish all deliverables specified in the file. Some general editing improvements were also implemented. By default, Oxygen displays reference content but there is an option in the Author Preferences page named Display Reference Content that can be disabled to make it possible for references such as XI Includes to be expanded on demand. With this option disabled, after reopening the document, the reference content is collapsed and you can expand each reference on demand according to your needs. JSON developers will be happy to know that support was implemented for the new JSON schema version 2020-12. For example, when creating a new JSON schema document using the file wizard, you now have the option to select the 2020 schema version. That version is then set in the new document and its specification is used for validation and editing. The new components for version 2020 were added in the palette view so that you can drag and drop them into the editor. And the content completion proposals and their documentation are based upon the new specification. The JSON schema documentation tool also now supports the version 2020 schema. After using the tool to generate documentation for a 2020 schema file, the resulting HTML file presents various details, links, and options based upon the new specification. New search and refactoring actions were added in the JSON schema design mode to improve the handling of JSON definition type components. 
For example, the search references action can be used to search all references of the selected definition in a scope determined by the reference schemas. Another example is the rename component in action. It allows you to rename the selected component, specify a scope for the operation, and you can preview the files being affected and these files are identified by searching the references of the selected component in the scope provided. Our developers implemented various features and tools for the OpenAPI standard. Full support was added for OpenAPI 3.1 documents, including automatic validation, content completion, and editing in text or author mode. New document templates are available in the new file wizard for various versions of OpenAPI documents in either JSON or YAML format. The OpenAPI version is automatically detected and used for validation. And content completion proposals are presented along with their documentation specs according to the OpenAPI version. The OpenAPI Documentation Generator tool now boasts a new design and the generated output. It is now easier to navigate through various information about the generated documentation, such as details about the servers, paths, and components that are defined in the OpenAPI document. Also, a visual diagram is presented for components to make the structure easier to understand. The update to Saxon 11.4 is the most significant improvement for XSLT and XQuery users. The built-in Saxon processor used for XSLT and XQuery transformations and debugging has been updated to version 11.4, and among other things, this means that more extension functions are now supported and included in the list of proposals in the Content Completion Assistant. The most popular add-ons continued to receive important and requested updates. Validation features were added in the Git client. When these features are enabled and you try to commit changes, those files are automatically validated, and the validation errors are presented in the usual results pane so that you can easily navigate to the location of the error. Likewise, if you try to push changes to the repository, all documents referenced in the main files folder are automatically validated, and again, any detected errors are presented in the results pane. One of the big improvements for the batch documents converter add-on is the addition of an OpenAPI to DITA conversion possibility. You can convert JSON or YAML files that conform to the OpenAPI specification to DITA. There's even an option that can be selected to instruct the converter to split the documents into separate DITA topics that are then referenced in a newly created DITA map. One example of an improvement in the terminology checker add-on is the ability to apply custom veil rules with a sentence scope. With the rule defined in a YAML file that's saved in a particular folder, the terminology checker displays warnings for detected veil rule problems along with the other rules. For XML scripting, it is now possible to validate files or directories from a command line interface so that you can check that your documents are valid from an integration server and you can generate reports in several formats such as text, XML, JSON, or an HTML visual format. These were just a handful of the new features added in Oxygen XML Editor 25. For a complete list of all the additions, updates, and implementations, go to our What's New page on our website.